And let's say they're all over the place. And we want to align these guys. Well, select them all. And then we have our alignment tool right here. So that's on the bottom. Scroll down a little bit. And just put this away for now. And our alignment tool. There's so many ways to align this. So we're gonna go over each one so you guys can see what happens. So we're gonna align it this way first. This way, we wouldn't see a difference at this point since we should press Command Z and then choose our second one, Command Z. You guys could see this alignment. Command Z, this alignment. So there we go, we have them lined up to the top. And then we have vertical alignment. So I'm gonna press Command Z, this alignment, that's a vertical alignment which wouldn't make sense in this case, I know. Then we have our vertical alignment bottom, and there we go. So that's each option for alignment. That's the quick way to align things, so you don't have to do it yourself. And of course, there's lots more options for alignment. So you guys will notice these three dots, click on them, and you're gonna see how to distribute and align things just in different ways. So just go throughout each one and see what each one does. But of course, this is to distribute objects, so you might not even see a change right now. But if we take them up, from each other we should see something happening so we just place these guys here and you're gonna mess around with this especially when you're messing around with text or more complicated objects we choose this or this or this or this it's gonna distribute our anchor points so right now you guys can actually see what's going on but anyways I'm gonna press command Z command Z and that's so you guys know exactly how to handle the alignment tool however you're most likely just gonna be messing around with the basics just aligning everything together. So you wanna take all these things and just like do a quick alignment. So we're gonna choose all these guys and do something like a vertical top to align them. And there you go. To equally space them out, select them all, go into more options and then distribute objects. You can go on and choose something like so from the center. So that way they're all aligned, equal space between them. And before you guys saw that, we aligned the anchors. Well, to align the anchors, which is something you're almost never gonna do, is select this option, and we're gonna select them all. And we still have these options for alignment, but this time we're gonna align the anchor points, which is kinda weird, so I'm gonna show you that again. But that's what that does. Not many of you are gonna use this that much, but it will come up at some point. So that's the difference. If you guys are looking, you're getting to difficulties is because most likely went to your anchor points instead of selecting the whole shape. Now something else when you're aligning things that's gonna help you out is your grid. You need to view your grid. So if you guys go into view, so that's on the top right here, go into view, then go down, you're gonna see show grid. So that's almost all the way in the bottom. It's gonna say show grid and that's my grid. So that's just for you to see. It's not a grid that's gonna print out or if you guys export this, you're not exporting the grid out. You can, by the way, there's ways to do that, but this is just for you, for your own reference. So you guys can actually align things a little bit more easy if you have a grid, especially if you're going to view, and you can snap to grid. So see this option? Uh, here are the short, shortcuts, by the way. I'm just showing you the long way so you know what you're doing. So snap to grid and go on, and this is gonna snap right into our grid. And there we go. So that's another way to align things manually, and this will help us out. We can always go into view, and hide our grid, and there we go. Now if you created a bunch of shapes, again, I showed you that, just select them, press Command G, and uh, we can just click anywhere, and you can move them all together. And then Shift Command G to ungroup them, so you can just press on one individually and move it out of there. So once we get into more complicated shapes, we've got this kitty cat that I made. It's a little bit more complex. You guys will be able to manage this and edit it a lot easier now that you guys know how to handle the pathfinder and adjust things. All right, so if you ever have to edit a shape like so, you're gonna understand that sometimes when you click on it, it might be all grouped together. You might not be able to click on individual things. It's all gonna move together. But if you ungroup it, so let's select it and ungroup it with Shift Command G, then you can select individual parts and just change them up. So I can take this out, for example, I can put it back in, I can change the color just by going there, make it darker, maybe I want it darker, click out, and there you go. So especially, especially when you're messing around with other artwork or artwork that was handed to you, now you guys know how to edit that stuff because now you know ungrouping, grouping, and changing your colors as well. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.